Well, ninety four nine, the Bay's number one hit music station. We have Leah Kate with us. How are you? I am good. Just got into San Fran this Just morning. Just got in. Excited to be here. I've never really. Did you been like stop here. and get any food or anything? I didn't. I got some airport food, which was uh, nothing special. So I'm not gonna. Yeah. On the the San Fran. You gotta stop it and get something good. Yeah. For sure. Stop at a taco truck or even. Oh. I don't know if you're a big coffee fan, but I am. I feel like the city has like really good coffee. Wait, you know what? The coffee I drink at home every morning is called Boyd San Francisco. Oh. Oh. It's like a San Francisco based coffee brand. I brought it on the bus. It's my favorite coffee. Oh my God, I should know that. I don't even know that one. Oh my God, maybe <laughs> they have a shop here. I gotta go check it out. I'm from the East Bay, but we do have Blue Bottle Coffee, which started in the East Bay. Oh, but really? San Francisco has like a bunch on every corner too. Oh. Phil's is good too. Okay. Phil's started in San Francisco. I'll check that out. So. I love good coffee. Oh my God, Phil's is like down the street. You should actually definitely go oh. there. Oh, I'm so down. A little pour Phil's? over. Yeah, Phil's Coffee. Okay. You I'm have so to. Going Get the Memo Guido. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Done. <laughs> Done deal. You'll thank me later. You're okay. gonna... <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Love your song, 10 Things I Hate About You. Thank this you. song, like, makes me want to be going through a breakup. Oh, my God. I know, <laughs> right? It kind of makes you want to get dumped It's the way. best F you song. Like, I want to be that mad at someone. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is this based on a true story? I have to ask. Or a real person? Oh, yeah. It a is. very real person. Every time you play it on air, I'm just like... That guy is so trash, whoever she's talking so about. So trash. She's okay. so real. I have to know what happened then. And like, where were, where were you when you wrote the song? Um, Mentally and physically. I was <laughs> in my, well, it started out, uh, I was really sad. Because I was like, I have to get over him. And was only remembering like why I liked him. And I was like, I need to like, okay. Like I was started like just reminding myself of the bad things he would do to me. And like yeah. the bad nights or the nights I cried or like, just like, you have to do that. Cause you, you get so, to. especially in a breakup, you get so wrapped up in like right, yeah. almost all the good stuff of what you're going to miss. Like you right? have to remind yourself, especially the bad. they always come, you know, back when you're like over them, 100%. they always send that text. For so sure. That's smart. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, I'm going to write list a handy. list of like everything I just hate about him. And it started as probably like 50 things. And I was like, okay, like, yeah, I don't miss this guy. Like, yeah. no, like, <laughs> like I go on forever. I'm on, yeah. I'm on page three. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, wait, this would make a really cool song idea. And then I was like, okay, what if I narrow it to 10 things? And yeah. I just started like writing out. I was like 10 things I hate about you. Oh my God. And then just started yeah. writing it. And then I wrote it and I was like, this is my favorite song ever. I'm going to tease this on TikTok like tomorrow. And then, it like came out a week later That's so, <laughs> so all those things are like he cheated on you oh yeah and all that he like told my best friend that he was seeing this other girl thinking she wasn't gonna tell me why would he do what he was like i love this girl what was That's her smart. name it was like um i forget it's why would he tell your like, best friend isn't that because he thought that they were like really tight oh and no that she wouldn't say anything to me and she like told me and she's like you can't tell him i told you and i was like uh I'm sorry. This is She's immediately going to tell me. Yeah, I think an important note everyone should have in a relationship is their friends are not your friends. Yeah. Like they right? are, but they're not. Yeah, they're <laughs> you know? not. They're not. I'm going to tell my girl immediately. What an yeah. idiot. Crazy, right? Told my best friend. And I was like, you're dumb. Now I feel like I hate this guy. Because one of my favorite yeah. lines in it is uh, where you said, you're the dumbest I've ever had. Oh my God. The, dumb, the dumbest <laughs> Some guy examples, I ever please. dated. <laughs> yeah. Right? That is a dumb thing to do. Like, don't tell my best friend about the new girl you're seeing. Yeah. And he really told me he was going to sleep one night. I was like, what are you doing today? He's like, I'm going to bed. But he really like went bowling with her and like took her on this date and like did all these oh, cute things. No. And I was like, oh my God. And I was reading the text messages in real time coming into my friend's phone. And like, I couldn't say anything. She's like, you can't tell him. And it was just crazy. I hate that. I hate when you yeah. when they like, I'm gonna tell you something, but you can't tell them I told yeah, you. Yeah, like, well, they're gonna ask me. Yeah. Or how do they know I know? The worst. That one's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, did he know you were gonna release this song, or does he know now that it's about him? He definitely knows now. He's definitely not happy about it because he knows it's about him. And it's maybe yeah. not the most flattering things on that list. I mean, you don't drop a name, so I feel like you're super nice about it. Right? If anything. I totally <laughs> drop his name. I've dropped names in songs before. Oh, yeah. He's super lucky then. Yeah. He's like considering. He got off easy. Because yeah. he was like, can you delete, delete it? Like, it's awful. It's so embarrassing to me. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to take it down from the streaming platforms. Like, you're crazy. And so he knows. <laughs> And you usually write music, right? You, do you write all your songs? Oh, yeah, I write everything. Oh, see? Yeah. If you're dating a songwriter, you got to know. Like, you better be do right. Brave, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, get your act together. I will write about you, so yeah. you better make sure it's your decision if it's a good or a bad song. You asked for it. <laughs> no, it's super pop. And how, what was your reaction to it just, like, blowing up everywhere when it, when it first, like, took off? It was so crazy. I didn't even believe it. I still don't believe, like 
what's happening with it. You right. Know, I, it has like almost a hundred million streams. It's on the it's radio. Like, it's, like everyone knows it when I sing it live. It's the craziest thing. I don't believe it, but I'm like so grateful. This is what I've been working my whole life for, for a song to just like connect with people on this level. So it's wild. I, I it's don't such a good, it, like though. relatable, like even if you're not like, I say like when I hear it, I'm like, I feel like I'm going through a breakup. Oh like God. I'm mad at this guy. Okay. I love that. <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. No, I love it. And your voice is so dope too. Have you always done music? Like how did you get started? I started singing when I was like three I remember I was watching oh, a wow. 1-800 commercial it was like Christina Aguilera or something I was like I want to be her <laughs> and like just started singing so young I started taking voice lessons when I was like five started writing with my brother who's a music producer when we were like 10 years old and it's just been my my whole life so yeah super dope <laughs> yes and it, you recently were on tour with our girl Madison Beer yes we love her how love was that her. experience oh my god it was amazing I, I love Madison she's like the best the coolest like She's super so, sweet too, right? Oh, so yeah, yeah. sweet. Like we hung out in her dressing room before the shows and like would just she was such like a great supportive headline act. Like there were nights that I lost my voice and I was like, what do I do? You know, just she was so supportive and amazing and I just adore her. She's so great. The fans are amazing. Yes. It was the the dream first like opening. Did you did you learn a lot from her? Do, do you feel like she was like kind of a mentor in, oh, in some God, kind of way? Yeah. Such a mentor. I mean, she's been doing it also like you know, since she was 12, I've been mm -hmm. singing since I was 12 too, but she's been like really like right. famous since she was 12 years old and has been like got signed by like Bieber or whatever. Yeah, yeah. As a little kid. So she's been doing this for a long time. So she has the best advice even, you know, with like things like just whatever, everything. Like we were texting yesterday about something that I was kind of struggling with. I was like, do you have any tips? So she's the best and the tour was so amazing and I love her. Oh, I love that. And you guys still like talk all the time oh, then yeah. too. She's great. That's so cool. Like that's yeah. so important keeping like your mentorships mm -hmm. and make sure they're like amazing people like that that like genuinely have your back. So for sure. Love that for you. And you're back at it. You're on tour on again. Tour. Tonight's opening night. Here I'm in so the city. Excited. Yes. I've never played here before. I was going to say, have you performed at the Warfield? It's such never. a dope venue. Not even in this city. So I'm so excited. Wow. I can't. It's like the opening night of tour. So crazy. It ha hasn't hit me at all. That crowd's going to be crazy. Is it going to be? That's why you got to get that feels, girl. Crowd? It's gonna, yeah. Really? <laughs> it's going to be fun. Like the Warfield, okay. I feel like you just get like a true concert experience. Oh, my you know? Like it's. It's amazing. I'm so excited. I'm excited for you. Yay. Uh, so, so what's next for you? I know you're on tour right now, writing songs. What else is going on? Um, So much new music is coming soon. This year, there's just going to be probably a song a month coming, I feel like, which is going to be crazy. Yeah. Um, collabs, tours. Um, I want to start, like, my own brands. I mean, there's so much I want to do. This year is going to be just, like, we'll start with the music. Yeah. And, and lots of shows. I feel like I have shows through the rest of the year just every every month is there's something going on so do you yeah. have an album coming yes i do do we have any any details on that um we so there's a project coming okay this year probably the fall oh this year okay yeah, if you like 10 things i hate about you you're gonna like the other song this is gonna be the it's one same worlds okay same feel same vibes um but like crazier so you're gonna like it and like sonically what could like fans expect on your sound um brutally honest similar to like 10 things okay you listen to the lyrics and you're like oh what did this girl go through yeah yeah I feel bad for <laughs> the songs about. Um, so it's like more like pop rock anthems that like you said make you feel like you are either wish you were going through a breakup or can make you feel better about the breakup yes. you're going through <laughs> i'm looking forward to it well Thank thanks you. so much for hanging out is there anything else you want to tell your fans here in the bay area come out to tonight to the show yeah i don't know if if you're around but if you are come come, <laughs> <through>. <laughs> come slide through to the workfoot art thanks yeah. so much for uh hanging out thank you <laughs>